Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Portland Trailblazers. And now the opening lineup for Boston. We've got Parrish, Kevin McHale out there with Bird. Then it's Ainge, and it's Johnson in at the one. Now, here is Ainge. No good from Bird. Smith surveying the D. The rebound by the Celtics. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at the rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Pass to McHale. Back to Ainge. Pass to Bird. Five to shoot. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And Pippen gets it to go. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He knows he just needs the ball, and then he is good to go. The pass to Bird. Here's McHale, defended by Pippen. McHale kicks to Bird. McHale with a screen on Shrimp. Shots good from Bird. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Stoudemire following the basket by Larry Bird. Right side, Pippen. There's the three. Rebounded by McHale. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Ainge against Smith. Ainge the pass to Parrish. Puts it up from 12. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here is Shrimp. Stoudemire left side. Rebound, Parrish. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And here is Ainge. Pass to McHale. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here is Parrish. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Stoudemire outside. Pass to Shrimp. Back to Stoudemire. Smith with a screen on Johnson. That one falls. Stoudemire's got five now. Boston trailing. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. To the middle. McHale finds Bird. Shoots over Pippen. Bird misses. Right at the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Smith, the pass to Shrimp. Fires from the wing. And Scotty Pippen, the bucket on the assist by Shrimp. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Ainge dishes to McHale. Pippen against Bird. No good. Shot missing. Some solid defense from Pippen. Stoudemire kicks to Smith. Back to Stoudemire. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. And the Celtics with possession here. It's a five-point game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And it's Parrish missing. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Portland. Feeds the shrimp. Tipped away and taken away by Johnson. And here we go. Bird with it. Now Smith defending. 
and that one's good. McHale. McHale's got his second bucket of the game to go. And obsessive perfection as Bird's become one of the great passers this league has ever seen. Outside, Zabonis. Stoudemire, the pass to Pippen. Shot clock at six. Off target from outside. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Here's Johnson. An easy two points on the layup. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Passes it to Shrimp. Stoudemire outside. Hands it from downtown. Stoudemire's got 10. And Stoudemire has that silky smooth jumper. Gets it off so quickly. Ainge dishes to Burt. Here's Ainge. No scoring in this one. McHale, that's good. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Stoudemire, the pass to Sabonis. Back to Stoudemire. He dishes it to Shrimp. Smith outside. Off target from three-point range. They've been hanging in there. And, and a chance here to jump on top. They grab their own miss. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Your yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Dennis Johnson shooting one. So they now lead by one. Hey, you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and was barely noticed by college recruiters, boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. Now here's Stoudemire. He's got 10. Pulls it up. And that's collected by Burke. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. McHale. That shot off. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Stoudemire kicks to Schrempf. Now the pass to Smith. Over Bird. Rebound, Boston. Now Ainge. Scoreless thus far. Kicks it out to Johnson. There's the triple, and Ainge gets it to go on the assist by Burr. And the Celtics lead by four. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Stoudemire, the pass to Sabonis. Bird against Smith. Bird misses. Bird's gone two for seven, struggling a bit. Here's Pippen, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Danny Ainge. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And maximum effort. That's what you see from Scottie Pippen game after game. He looks for ways to affect the game every minute. The Celtics making a switch here. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for Larry Bird. Vincent's checked in for Danny Ainge. And it's Easting in for Johnson. Box here, box here. 
so he hits one of two from the strike. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run right now. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And with the offense hitting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Boston. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing unselfishly. The first one falls. That one is no good. Trailblazers trail by four. The feed to Grant. Pass to Augie. Fires at the elbow. And the jumper falls for him. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Here is Seasting. The Blazers getting the bucket. Pass to Wedman. Here's McHale. Plays it up off the glass. McHale's got eight points. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Shrimp kicks to Pippen. This one for three. A rebound by Walton. And it's the Celtics ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Passes to Vincent. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Here's the pass to McHale. Over Shrimp. And again, it's Boston converting. Here's Anthony. Still without a basket. Outside Pippen. Pass to Ogden. Kicks to Shrimp. And he gets it to go from the corner. 157 left to play here in the first. Pass to Walton. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. They trail by six. For three, score the basket is third after five shots. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point. But these teams, they are built to score. So here is Z-Sting. Inside, and McHale gets double team. The shot by Seasting, no good. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Anthony. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The Trailblazers have converted one of two free throws so far today. So for the Trailblazers, Sabonis, he's checked in for Shrimp. And Wells is subbed in for Scotty Pippen. Celtics also with a sub. Larry Bird's checked in for Kevin McHale. That one drops. He ties it up. Uh, 101 left here in the opening quarter. Here is Seasting, covered by Anthony. Here's Vincent. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sabonis. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game.
There's 48 seconds left to play in the first. Screened by Walton. Vincent, the pass to Walton, and the shot is good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Passes it to Walton. Now, here's Wells. The pass to Walton. Outside Anthony. And Boston with the rebound. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. Bird with the bucket. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. And obviously, you know about the deep range, but Bird just as lethal, working the angles on the interior. And again, it's the Trailblazers missing. Kevin McHale has been on display for Boston. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, this is Mike Dunleavy's lineup. Grant is out there with Wells. Then it's Anthony, and it's Sabonis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Vincent misses. Trailblazers trail by four. Outside Anthony. Oh, good on the triple. And so it's Boston with it. Pass to Seasting to the inside. Here's Walton. Wells comes with the double team. Chalk up two there. Walton's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Here's Wells. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Wells has got his first three points of the game. See, he had time to line it up, and you know what? He's capable. Here is Seasting, covered by Anthony. Up top, Bird. And it's Portland with the rebound. Sabonis has got six rebounds here tonight. Outside Anthony. Sabonis sets the pick for Anthony. No good. That would have tied it. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. To the paint. Pass to Seasting. Here's Wedman. Six on the shot clock. Here's Vincent. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Trailblazers. Down low. Here's Grant. And it's Bird with the rebound. Celtics leading by three. Passes it to Seasting. The dish to Walton. The pass to Vincent. Back to Walton. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Grant kicks to Anthony. Here's Ogman. Over Vincent. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And Boston has possession. 
In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Wedman, the pass to Vincent. Here's Wedman. Vincent with it. He feeds it to Bird. Plays it up and banks it in. Bird's got eight. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Trail Blazers trail by seven. Anthony looking it over. Pass to Sabonis. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. I just love when teams make it work down low. Boston leading by five. Pass to Bird. Here is Seasting. Covered by Anthony. Pass to Vincent. A three ball. That's tipped. And he stays with it. Austin needs to get off a shot. Walt, and there's the shot clock violation. Didn't get the shot off in time. It's checked in for the Trailblazers. Stoudemire comes in for Anthony. The Trailblazers on offense. It's a five-point game. Stoudemire finds Grant. Here's Augman. And there's the pass to Smith. Portland again, missing. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Scott Wedman taking two shots. One is off. Detlef Schrempf's checked in for the Trailblazers. Robert Parrish is checked in for Boston. Johnson comes in for Seaston. He hits the second from the line. Trailblazers trail by six. Stoudemire, bounce pass. Shrimp kicks to Grant. Here's Stoudemire. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Stoudemire's got 12 points in the game. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Johnson outside. Walton is screen on Stoudemire. Johnson dishes to Burris. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Stoudemire, the pass to Sabonis. Back to Stoudemire. Six to shoot. Shrimp a screen on Johnson. Smith for three. It's the three-point bomb. Now just a one-point Celtic lead. And seeing Smith there pulling up from deep, his three-point shot is as good as it gets. Walton is screen on Stoudemire. Johnson draws the double. He kicks to Parrish. And it's good from the elbow. And the Celtics lead by three. And I like the decision-making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. Yeah, if they aren't going to take away his space for mid-range, look, he's going to continue to shoot it. Now, here's Grant. Still scoreless. That one goes. Count it. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Here's Johnson. Five points in the game. Edmund can't get it to go. Smith outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. He's got five. Stoudemire, a, a talented passer, excellent at finding ways to get his guys going. Johnson, the pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. Yeah. 
feeds the Parrish. That's in there, Jackson with the assist. Parrish has got four points in the quarter. And the ultimate combo guard, Johnson can pass with the league's best playmaker. And Brent, now top of the key, has to Shrimp. Smith with a wide open look. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. It's stolen by Stoudemire. To the middle. Here's Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. And important two points, not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And Portland making a change here. Pippen's checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. McHale's checked in for Walton. Collins comes in for Larry Burke. And Ainge is subbed in for Wedman. Pass to Ainge. Back to Collins. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Portland Trailblazers. The feed to Shrimp. Passes it to Stoudemire. Here's Smith. And again, it's Portland converted. And so it's Boston with it. And here is Ainge. Johnson outside. In the corner, McHale with it. Just five to shoot. Danny Ainge on the wing. Flying is what from deep. Johnson can't get it to go. Trailblazers leading by three. Pippen kicks to Stoudemire. Outside for Pippen. A three-pointer off the mark. Pippen's gone one of four from distance. I pose Johnson. He's against Stoudemire. Here's McHale. Who's back up. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. McHale's got 12 points in the game. Pippen outside. Trailblazers moving the ball around. A rebound by the Celtics. Parrish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Johnson against Smith. Johnson can't get it to go. Now Pippen, eight points for him. This is the shrimp. And the pass to Smith. Here's Stoudemire. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Stoudemire's got six in the quarter. And man, is he in his zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Pass to McHale. Over shrimp. Good on that shot, and with that, the Trailblazer lead is cut down to just one on the basket from McHale. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Now here's Pippen. Here's Smith. Parrish grabs the board. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Johnson, the pass to Parrish. And Johnson on top of the key. Hooked away. Collins finds McHale. Shrimp with the steal. Pass to Stoudemire. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. 
Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Stoudemire against Johnson. Passes it to Pierce. The tray. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Up top, Shrimp. Stoudemire against Johnson. Here's Smith. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Outside, Cowan. Tries from the block. And no good that time. Nice D from Shrimp. Smith dishes to Pippen. Stoudemire left side. 23 seconds left here in the second. And that one, good. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. Ainge against Smith. Now, here is Ainge. To the inside, Shrimp with the steal. All alone, and it's Pippen with the jam. You gotta respect the quickness of Pippen. Just terrific at getting to the right spot there in transition. And so it's the heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And don't go away. We'll be right back. If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Here's Johnson. And on the floor for KC Jones starting the second half. Kevin McHale out there with Parrish. Then there's Bird. Then it's Johnson. And it's Ainge in at the two guard. Now here is Bird. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Here is Shrimp. Four-point game. Stoudemire. Bird pulls it in. Here's Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. I'll tell you what. He earned his money on that foul. And this will be his second and third shots to the line here. Dennis Johnson, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Johnson hits two of them. Here's Smith. Hits Pippen on the win. Kicks it to Shrimp. Hey. 
as a bonus, the pass to Shrimp. Smith for three. That's a six field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. The pass to McHale. Over Shrimp. McHale can't get it to go. Trailblazers leading by five. Stoudemire outside. He feeds it to Shrimp. Outside Pippen. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Goes up on the wing and it's Ainge that time on the assist from Dennis Johnson. Ainge has got five. Found some space to get off the mid-range and he'll do damage from there if you let him. High post, Stoudemire. Johnson on him. Smith on the wing. He's got 14. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. you got to show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Stoudemire. Following the miss by Larry Bird. Stoudemire outside. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Johnson kicks to Ainge. Nice ball movement by Boston. Johnson outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Parrish. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. He's got six. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Trailblazers timeout. Trailblazers leading by five. Up top, Shrimp. Smith outside from deep. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Now, here is Ainge. Five points in the game. And it's Smith penetrating. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Johnson inside. And by Stoudemire. The Trailblazers pull it in. Smith outside. It's Pippen on the win. Shoots over Bird. And again, it's Portland converted. A nice shot taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Trailblazers leading by eight. Smith outside. Pippen outside. Back to Schrempf. Puts it up from 17. Bird pulls it in. Bird's got his fourth rebound in this one. Johnson outside. And the three off target. Johnson's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field. Stoudemire, the pass to Pippen. Stoudemire against Johnson. Left side, Zabonis. And it's in there. Sabonis has got the lead up to 10 now for the Trailblazers. Well, if they're doubling you, then you know someone is open to shoot. So smart move passing it out. It's Bird, top of the key. No dice from the high post. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. 
Pippen dishes to Stoudemire. Back to Pippen. Feeds it to Shrimp. Pass to Stoudemire. Front pass the arc. And the rebound goes to McHale. McHale's got six rebounds now in the game. The shot's good from Ames. Here's Stoudemire. He's got 22. Up top, Shrimp. Drains the 19-footer. And the Trailblazers lead by 10. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. On the wing, Burke. Sabonis against Parrish. He dishes it to Ames. Bird right side. Shoots over Pippen. Bird can't hit. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Now, here is Shrimp. Following the miss by Larry Bird. Smith for three. Cranes the three-pointer. Smith's got 11 points here in just the second half. And, and you can see he's found his rhythm here in the third quarter. You, you can just sense the uptick in confidence. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be going. Now a timeout called by Boston. Seasting, he's checked in for the Celtics. Johnson. Seven points in the game. Bird right side. Celtics passing it around. Here's McHale. Up and in on the way. McHale's got 18 points in the game. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Smith for three. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Seasting. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Seasting's got it back down to within single digits for Boston. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Well, the great thing in the NBA is the unknown. On any given night, you don't know who'll come out on top. And even coaches like Steve Kerr know it. He said, it's really hard to win an NBA game. And the difference between losing and winning is like that. Kevin? Oh, a, a game of inches, right, David? Just as you're showing us, a game of inches. Thanks. Here's Bird. Cans the shot from the wing. He's got 13. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. Now here's Stoudemire. He's got 22. Good on the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Bird inside. Defended by Pippen. Bird kicks to McKay. Passes to Johnson. Pocket six. On the wing, Bird. Shoots over Pippen. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got his eighth assist in the game. Outside Pippen. It's up a three. Smith's shot is good. Smith's got 25 points in the game. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. 
Here is Seasting. Guarded by Stoudemire. Parrish, the pass to Bird. Over Pippen. Bird misses. Trailblazers leading by 11. High post, Pippen. Parrish is there. Stoudemire. That one rolling around and rims out. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Here's Johnson. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Nine points for Johnson. Pippen, the pass to Shrimp. Now Stoudemire shoots the three. And the Trailblazers, another three. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Some changes for Boston. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Redman comes in for Larry Bird. And Vincent subbed in for Johnson. Here's Vincent. Here is Seasting. There's the pass to Wedman. The feed now to McHale. Over Shrimp. Boston. No good that time either. Trailblazers leading by 12. Augman passes to Grant. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that, Grant's got his second basket of the game. Here is Seasting, guarded by Stoudemire. Pass to Wedman. He feeds it to McHale. Over Shrimp. No good from McHale. 129 left here in the third quarter. Stoudemire, the pass to Grant. Back to Stoudemire. Kicks it out to Grant. Pass to Stoudemire. Shot clock at five. Takes a three. And again, it's Portland with the three. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. And Boston has possession. Trailblazers knocking down the track. Seasting passes to Walton. The timely screen gave him a step, but he took it all the way. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. For Boston, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line of the game. Sabonis, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. And that one misses. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Good. Shrimp's got four this quarter. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Vincent, the pass to Walt. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Screen by Walton. Over Sabonis. And the basket by Walton. Walton's got 12 in the game. Not the shot I expected him to take or make, but hey, look, joke's on me. He hit it. Stoudemire outside. Fires the three. 
He doesn't hit that one. And so it's Portland riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, this is Mike Dunleavy's lineup. They've got Grant. He's out there with Wells. Sabonis is out there with Anthony. And it's Augman in at the two spot. Right here, right here. Wells with it. The shot from 20 feet away. And the basket is good. Here is Seasting. Passes it to Walt. The Celtics working the ball around now. Redmond the pass to Vincent. Shot clock at six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much to make there. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Blazers. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And another area they've separated themselves has been their three-point shooting, making the defense pay for any airspace. A free throw drops for Vincent. And so Vincent nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. Oh, but didn't jinx him. Now here's Wells. Not a lot of room. Unable to get that one. Celtics trail by 15. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Now the pass to Seasting. Walton has screen on Anthem. Here's Seasting. Second shot opportunity. And the basket by Walton. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamental. Grant outside. And he uses the glass on the lane. And the Trailblazers lead by 15. That kind of power move has become a trademark of his. Here is Seasting, covered by Anthony. A wide open look for Bird. Trills the three pointer. Proving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. Anthony, the pass to Grant. Now here's Wells. Grant outside. And the layup is good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Here's Vincent. Pass to Bird. Shoots it up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
And the first one drops. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Shrimps checked in. And a change for the Celtics. Dennis Johnson's checked in for Vincent. Both good from the line that time. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Pass to Shrimp. Screen by Sabonis. Shot. High post. No good from Shrimp. Celtics trail by 12. Bird, the pass to Seasting. Back to Bird. They double team Bird. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just Second one more will put him over the limit. Third team foul. Here's Wedman. Shrimp cover. Six to shoot. Seasting passes to Walton. Here is Seasting. And it's Portland with the rebound. Sabonis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Inside. Out to Anthony. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. And the Trailblazers lead by 14. Not the best pick I've seen, but look, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Seasting passes to Bird. Shoots over Grant. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Celtics, Larry Bird. At the line for one. One shot. Free throw, no good for Bird. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Portland. And here's Schrempf. Pass to Sabonis. Walton with the steal. Here's Wedman. Schrempf cover. Seasting passes to Johnson. On the high post. And there are the Celtics with another basket. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. Now, here's Grant. High post try. Ogman's shot is off. Celtics trail by 10. Here's Johnson. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Shrimp dishes to Grant. Outside Anthony. Puts one up from 19. No good that time. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here is Seasting. Back to Bird. From 18 feet away, the putback, it's good on the putback. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. The pass to Ogden. Over Johnson. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Celtics trail by eight. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Boston. Dennis Johnson taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
that one falls for Johnson. So both teams changing it up here. And Johnson drops them both. Trailblazers leading by six. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. The I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message Mike Dunleavy gave his team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort, and we'll see how it works out. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. It's Pippen on the wing. To the right side. Stoudemire kicks to Smith. Offensive rebound. Sabonis. Nice D from McHale. Here's Boston now. They're on a 17-6 run. And he makes good on the layup. 20 points for Kevin McHale. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Feeds into Shrimp. Good. Nothing but net. And the Trailblazers lead by six. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Bird. Nice D from Pippen. Smith outside. Stoudemire right side. Stoudemire drawing the double team. Six on the shot clock. Smith for three. And McHale pulls it down. McHale's got his seventh rebound here tonight. If a floater, Bird misses. Trailblazers leading by six. Stoudemire outside. Pass to Sabonis. There's the dish to Smith. Stoudemire outside. And the three ball is good. Stoudemire's got 31 points. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Now a timeout called by Boston. Checked in for Boston. Celtics substitution. Number 44, Danny Ainge. Johnson outside. Pass to Bird. Here's Ainge. Great play by Bird to set it up. Bird's got three assists in the game. Portland leading by seven. Stoudemire the pass to Sabonis. In the corner, Smith with it. And again, it's Portland with the three. And the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. And it
it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. And Pippen gets it to go. <laughs> wow, fired that bounce pass in there beautifully. Celtics trail by 12. It's stolen by Smith. Passes it to Sabonis. Deep two from Pippen. That's good on the jump shot. And the Trailblazers lead by 14. It's McHale, top of the key. Over Shrimp. And McHale, the basket on the assist by Ainge. McHale's got four this quarter. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Now here's Stoudemire. A shot by Sabonis. Nobody around. Great look, but off the mark. Bird looking it over. Dennis Johnson on the wing. He shoots again. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. And that one falls for McHale. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Now Stoudemire. Spins. Clock at four. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. There's one for the low light. Wow. I'm not sure who messed up the pass, but look, somebody did. So it's Boston now. Two minutes in the game. Two minutes. 157 left to play in the final quarter. No good from Bird. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Pippen with the wide open look. Good on the three point shot. Pippen's got 19 points. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. McHale with a screen on Smith. Johnson outside. Three pointer on the way. That left Shrimp comes up with the rebound. Trailblazers leading by 12. Gets Pippen on the wing. He kicks it to Shrimp. Here's Stoudemire. Rebounded by the Celtics. And there's the pass to Ainge. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Ainge is just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. Shooting two. That free throw good from Ainge. Free throw is good for Mange. Portland leading by 10. Stoudemire the pass to Pippen. Dishes to Shrimp. And Stoudemire getting double teamed. Smith. And there it is for him. Smith's got 30 points. 
late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Now here's Burke. Here's Parrish. Nice work on the board. It's paying Perry. off with the basket. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. Here's Dottemeyer. Fires for three. And the Trailblazers, another three. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Bangs home the trifecta. Three hook. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they had been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in as we end with the New Balance Player of the Game.